Hi everyone, Matt Stewart here with Cole Banker Ronin Realty, here to give you the market stats for December of 2022. We're now welcoming ourselves into the new year, 2023. Obviously last year was a crazy year. We saw lots of things happen in terms of interest rate hikes, obviously pricing on the decline through the second half of the year. It's gonna be interesting to see what we're gonna see heading into 2023, but we're gonna go over the market stats for December of 2022 and see where everything landed. As we look at the Agila Tosseranio market, in November, we saw the average purchase price sit around 908,000. We saw that number jump up by 29% in December to 1.171. Again, those numbers can drastically change in that market. I say in all my videos, there's rural properties, larger properties, there's small estate pockets that are in that category, and they dramatically change the pricing depending on which homes sell. Again, we did see a little bit of a push in December for people trying to, again, get into something now, try to secure a closing into next year, just because people are a little uncertain what's going to happen with rate hikes and stuff like that. So we saw a good push in December. Now, there were 17 new listings in November. There was only 10 in December. And then there were six sales in November and only five in December. So small changes on those numbers, but very similar for what they should be in December. All right, guys, that's the market stats for December of 2022. Thank you for tuning in. If you do have any questions about the market or want to sit down, have a chat, all my details are in the comments below. Again, my outlook and what I think is going to happen as we go through into the spring market here, I think we're going to see the inventory creep up, but it's going to be more of a balanced market. You're not going to have those sharp increases and decreases. Depending on what the Bank of Canada does on January 25th, which I'll be doing a video for that as well, that will really dictate what we see going through the rest of the year. Again, I think we're gonna see a more balanced market. We're gonna see negotiation. We're gonna see offers that are conditional. Um, conditions on sale of a house are gonna be coming back and be very common. So for buyers out there, now is gonna be your best time. I think in the next basically between 60 and 120 days is gonna be that bottom point of the market, which every buyer's been waiting for. So getting in now, finding a property, securing your closing, like those are gonna be crucial things. And then for sellers, just patience, be patient, right? If you have a price you need, just hold to that price, watch what the market's doing and make the decision if it's smart for you. Again, so I think for buyers, it's kind of your time to shine. So if you're thinking of buying, let me know. I feel free to help you guys. I have mortgage brokers I work with and we can get you kind of set up and get you set up for that spring market. And then for sellers, again, knowing what your home is worth. So I do free home evaluations. All those things are huge right now just to know where you stand. Whether you do something or not, that's not important. But knowing where you stand on a buying and selling front is. So that's kind of my outlook for what I think is going to happen going into the spring market. Thank you for tuning in. Take care.